Right guys, best thrift finds of 2021. Um, I want to get this video out before I have my next pop-up, which is in Nottingham. Um, I'll put the poster there. Hopefully this video is out before then. Um, if not, just ignore that. I wanted to do this video standing up because there's lots of big bits, big signs. Um, so yeah, we'll just get into it. I'll try and like link videos up above. Um, I'll put other extra photos like on the side of the screen. And yeah, we'll get into it. Like, subscribe and enjoy. Right, we're gonna get some of these big boys out of the way. Um, as some of you might know, in 2020, I missed one of these signs by like five minutes. My dad actually found it uh, and then he saw the person buy it. I think they bought it for like 250 pound. Um, but it's one of these big Nike signs, uh, big metal ones, meant to light up, but I haven't actually got around to try and sort that out. Um, but yeah, I missed out on that one in 2020. And then I sort of made it my quest to find one of these myself. Um, so I was checking eBay and loads of other places. Eventually one of these popped up on eBay. Um, then I went on the seller's profile and he had another one, but it wasn't a Nike one, it was a Reebok one. Um, that's in the other room tucked away because there's no space for them. Um, so yeah, I went up to Birmingham way. Uh, I paid 450, I think it was for the two. Um, I think the Nike one that I missed out on, that sold on eBay for like 500. So it was a really good deal, um, but I'm super happy to finally have my own one. Um, the only problem is in this room, all the walls are like slanted because we're in like the roof. And then in my room, the only wall it fits on is right above my headboard in my bed. Um, and my dad is a carpenter, but even he says he doesn't think it's very smart to have it above my bed. And I don't trust it either. Waking up with like all my teeth missing from this falling on me because it's actually quite heavy. Um, but I'll put a picture on the side of the screen of the Reebok one as well. Um, super cool find. This is like, I think this is the first thing I grabbed of the year because we were still in sort of lockdown. Then we've got another nice furniture piece. Super sick. This is probably one of my favorite ones because I can actually use it. Um, it is a Nike table. I found this in an old sports shop. Paid 50, 50 quid, 70 quid, I think. I can't quite remember. Um, super sick. It had the sticker here, which is like a hand sanitizer one. Uh, stupidly, I just ripped it off instead of trying to edge it off a little bit. So it's ruined it a little bit, but nice bit of wear. Made in USA as well on the bottom. Super cool. And then the final furniture bit is this Nike Shocks display piece from an old JD in the early 2000s. Um, I'll put a picture there of me standing next to it. I paid, I think, 100, 120 for it. I can't quite remember. Um, nice little like two, three hour journey. Right now we're moving on to the clothing. I think the first ever find that I found in 2021, uh, my first car boot I went to was a band tee haul. They were like bootlegs, mainly like Euro ones. Uh, I'll put a picture there, they're all sold. I think the best one was a Offspring one, I think. Uh, I sold that for like 70, which paid for the lot. Then we got the only other half decent vintage band tee that I found, this Iron Maiden one on a really nice redwood tag from the year 2000. I, th I actually love this graphic because it says, that's me, mum, in the crowd. Yeah, I paid 50p for that. Um, that's probably one that like Americans don't really have because it's from the Birmingham concert. Then we got these two vintage tees that I found in my recent video. Two boxing tees, I found two of these. Uh, I'm keeping one for myself. And then this really nice early 2000s CSI vintage tee on a giant tag, brand new with tags. I think I paid £4.50 each for them. Then we got the final vintage tee, um, not quite vintage, probably like early 2000s. I think the guy said 2001 or 2006, uh, but it's like a Babe Station t-shirt. It's called Television X, the fantasy channel. There's a graphic there and the back graphic. I'm just gonna hold on to this one because I think it's really cool. Something you don't really see too often. I did also find a Pink Floyd tee. I'll put a picture there. That was on the Winterland tag. I paid 50p for it and I sold it in a bundle last month. But that's it for all the vintage tees and band tees that I found this year. Uh, now we're gonna get into our next category, which is football shirts. First, we've got my hometown. This is Ipswich Town 1996, I think, or 97. It's the away strip. Really cool sponsor on the front of it. And it's just a very weird colorway. Uh, paid five pound for that. That was at a car boot, which I got to like really late in the afternoon. It was just laying there. Um, all the eBay sellers just left it, but I grabbed that one for myself. And then we've got the final football top that I found. This is up there as one of the best finds that I've ever found. It is a West Ham um, home strip from 1977 to 1980, I think. Um, I literally just read it, but I still can't remember. I'll show you it up close on the Admiral tag 
super old. It is unfortunately like a youth size, but that's probably like a small or a medium in the 70s, I think. Um, fits super small. I've only ever seen one of these. It was on Classic Football Shirts Story when they had like a pop-up. Um, I just saw it hanging up in the background, uh, but I can't find any listings on eBay or any sold sort of completed listings. Uh, but I want to say it's like a two to three hundred pound top, and I just found it in like a bundle of clothes that an old guy was selling. I think I paid like 50p or a pound for it. Um, loads of eBay sellers that actually looked at it before I was there because I was just watching them uh, and they all left it. Uh, but that is one of my top 10 finds of all time. Then we've got this Burberry jacket, not too crazy, it's sort of your standard high end brand to find in the UK. Uh, but the best thing about this is I found it with three other bits i'll put a picture there um it was like a one car boot two different sellers one guy had like three bits and then uh, a lady had like a trench coat so i bought all of them uh i just thought i'd show you that newer tags i think i paid like 50 pound a piece or 40 50 pound a piece i think then we got this avisu jacket i didn't find this my girlfriend found it uh but she paid a pound for it it's like a 120 150 pound item really nice quality is crazy on them um, I found two, one or two of these before. Um, I think I found one in like 2018, but it was missing a button. Still sold that for like 70 quid, I think. Uh, but yeah, really cool to find that. Your classic sort of early 2000s UK hip hop grime sort of wear. These next three items are from my best tool of the year, um, the Stone Island tool. Before I get into it, I'm just gonna put the story video that I did on my Instagram. I'm just gonna link that in here. The camera's gonna change to there. Uh, but this is like 15 minutes after I bought the whole box. Um, so you can watch that now. Right guys, you ready for this? I just came up. I don't usually do this, but I'm just gonna show you um, the box that I just bought. Shout out Nathan. Green edge. That's meant, that's 90s, it's meant to be a green edge. Look at that. Jumper, Ed Hardy. That's a Burberry shirt, Stone Island shirt, Stone Island shirt, Mosh. Is that another green edge? Another green edge. That one's vintage as well, it's meant to be a green edge. That one is sick. And then that one, again, it's meant to be vintage, but it's got the newer badge on. So that shows you what I found. These are the last three items I've got from that box. Um, I think I sold everything else apart from one item that I traded, but I've like tripled what I spent on the box. I think I paid 280 for the box, uh, but I kept these ones for myself. Nice green edge knit, uh, another sort of green edge knit in a nice colorway. It's like a burnt orange, like a pinky red. Hard to describe that color. And then this is probably the second best item from the box. Um, it's a green edge sort of miniature cord shirt. Hope you can see that up close. I don't think you can, uh, but yeah, that fits me perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's my all time best tool I've ever had at a car boot at a charity shop. Um, go watch the video. I've already linked it up there. I'm just gonna do a few random bits before I finish off the clothing. Uh, this first one is a 1997 Nickelodeon um, phone. Just really weird and random. Really cool, it looks sick in a vintage shop. Um, but I bought that for £18, I think, uh, from a dealer at a, sort of an antique sort of car boot. And then the other one is this Burberry sign. I found four of these from another antique dealer, paid like £8 each, I think, something like that. Um, again, really cool to have in the vintage shop and just on a mantelpiece. Next, we got the best pair of shorts that I've ever found in the wild. Uh, I paid, I think I paid like 20p or 50p for them. Nice white tag Nike shorts. Got this like rubber swoosh at the bottom of them. There you go, you've seen the light. Uh, but really crazy pattern on them. And they they do fit me, they're a little bit big. But I just thought it was really cool to find these in the UK because these are definitely more of an American thing to find in the wild. Then we got a bit of Italian that I found. I found this at a car boot. I paid like a fiver for it. I bought out this guy's wardrobe basically. Um, he had all these clothes from the early 2000s. I'll put a picture there. Um, and this is one of the items. It's a really nice Cavalli all over print, just I think it's like newspapers and lots sort of just random bits. Uh, but I paid like five to 10 pound for it. I think it ended up costing me. Next we've got some of the stuff that I really enjoy. 
Um, nice early 2000s Nike. This is an Air Max LTD full tracksuit. I think I paid like £15 for the set. Um, and it's like a 70 to like £100 set, I think. Um, I haven't seen one for sale for quite a while. I've just tucked that away because I enjoy this stuff the most. Next, you've got a really good charity shop find. It is a Moncair Grenoble jacket. Unfortunately, someone has unzipped the sleeves off and just left it as a gilet. Uh, but I paid £20 for it in a charity shop. And it's probably like 80 to 120 maybe. Uh, it was really marked up, but I literally gave it a wash two weeks ago. I thought I ruined it for seconds because I did it myself. I didn't take it to a dry cleaner. Uh, but you just whack it in the dryer with a load of balls and it sorts itself out. Super cool to find that in the UK. You don't usually find old Montclair. This has got one of my favorite accessories that I found of the year. Uh, I literally only just remembered these about two minutes ago and had to find them, but they are D&G glasses. I was just looking in a random box at Carbu, found these um, and I paid like 50p for them, but they're like really cool early 2000s girls D&G glasses. It's got the D there and it's got the and in the middle and it's got a G and then like pink lenses, bit pimpy, bit like early 2000s, Y2K, Depop girl, but super cool to find them. Then we got one of my most recent finds, an Arterex jacket. Nice to find it in the UK. Arterex is popping off because everyone's obsessed with it, but it's just a glorified Packer Mac. Um, retail's just crazy on them. The quality is amazing, so I will give it that, but still just mad money. Paid £10 for that in the charity shop. Hopefully I'm gonna have that for sale in Nottingham. Um, I need to just do a bit of a price check and have a bit of a search around to see what they go for. Then we got the best, uh, probably not the best actually. The next one's gonna be the best sweatshirt. Uh, the second best sweatshirt find of the year, Adidas Equipment, nice 90s tag. It's not one of the reprint ones. Paid 20 pound on it, so I paid up, but you're probably paying a little bit more at wholesale for that. Um, and it's a really nice color, nice fade, perfect condition. Uh, it's still like a 60 to like 80 pound jumper all day. Again, this will be for sale at Nottingham. Now this is the best jumper find, the 80s Gucci jumper i think it's real i still need to confirm it with like a few people uh but if it is a bootleg i'd be happy if it's real i'd be even happier um but it's just that proper 80s look the green and red stripe and the tag is just awesome i love this sort of stuff but i paid 15 pound for that in the charity shop super cool to find and i found two other gucci items the same day in the same town um in a different shop. This is the first of two other items that I found in the same town. It is a Gucci cashmere suit jacket. Again, on that 80s tag, awesome. I paid 90 pound for it. I didn't mind paying up because the quality on it is amazing. That's one of the main reasons why I bought it because of cashmere and it's just crazy quality and it's also obviously Gucci and old. Um, not sure what it goes for, but I'm just sort of tucking it away because I think it's really smart. This is the other item that I found in the same town, uh, in the same shop as the cashmere jacket. It's still got a dust bag. It is a nice 80s Gucci accessories collection bag. Full monogram, it's got the red and green stripe. Another crazy item to find in the UK. Again, I did pay up on it. Paid, I think, 90 pound for it. Um, I'll put, I'll link the video up there. I'm not sure which corner it's gonna be in. Uh, but go watch the whole thing and you can see me find all the Gucci items in the same town. And then some of the final best items that I found in 2021. These are all from the same haul. Uh, first of all, we've got three Prada full suits. That one, that one, and that one. I think I paid like 90. I can't remember the actual price. Also with those Prada suits, I found this Gucci suit. I'll link the video up there, go give it a watch. Really good haul, like lots of high-end stuff. Uh, but fortunately this one fits me perfectly, so I've definitely kept this one for myself. Still haven't even listed the Prada ones onto eBay. Um, but I think I paid like less than 150 for the lot. And then the final two items of this video, which I also found with all them suits. First is this Prada beanie. Uh, it fits me perfectly, so kept that one for myself. And then this Prada leather jacket uh, from the O2000s. It hasn't got a red tab or anything. Can't actually unzip it, but the quality on it is just amazing. There's the tags. Uh, it's just like super soft, super buttery leather. And I think it ends up costing me like 30, 40 pounds, if that, I think. Um, but I spent quite a lot of money with this seller because they had lots of high-end stuff. So that's it for my best finds of 2021. While I ramble on, I'm gonna put any pictures of anything good that I forgot to put in this video or stuff that I've sold. I'm just gonna keep putting them there. And you can see some of my other favorite items that I also found. 
I think that's it for this video. Just make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Also, make sure to watch my other best finds of the year. I think I've done a 2019 one and a 2020 uh, best finds of the year. So I'll link them up there in one of the corners. Go watch them. There's some super sick stuff that I found in the past, uh, either at charity shops and car boots. Follow my Instagram and my Depop, Ryan's Finds, I find S, F find S, and also follow the wholesale page that I run, Messina Henry Wholesale. Um, I'm posting stuff every day on there, uh, just uploading content, trying to grow the followers. So yeah, it'd be appreciated if you go and watch that, not watch it, go follow it. And yeah, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, peace.